Exeba fetu ngoti wa khumse zofa ko lo nitya nefundile tsano bona ma subscriber na ma follower at Jabulile. Guys today we'll be talking about admission to UCT to study medicine. What are the requirements? Am I eligible to apply? What do I need? How do they even calculate this point system thing? Find out in the video, don't miss out. Fetu, a lot of people have been jumping into the DMs and asking me about the concept of admission for medicine at UCT. And I just wanted to clarify so that now, even if you had a similar question, you can just have your answers here. Ne? Otherwise, bear with me, this might be a bit of a long video. So now I have a prospector sale up at UCT Cut 2024. Ne? So I'll be using the prospectors to guide us into explaining what the requirements are and what you need to qualify. But fair too, I've just changed the angle so that I'm able to write while I'm talking to you guys. I'm writing not so that you see, but so that I can just remember what I'm talking about. Ne? So in order for us to assess how well you've performed in high school in your final results, we use something called point scores, right? What are these point scores? Point scores basically are like your percentages in high school. For example, if you got 70% for physics, right, that is 70 points, right? If you got 100 uh, for maths, that is 100 points, right? So now we use these point scores basically to try and assess how well you've performed. And we have three now point scores that are very important that basically determine whether we take you or we don't take you. First of all, we have the admission point score, which is the most common one, APS, people know that. Then we have the faculty point score, because this is specific now to health sciences. You have the faculty point score, number two. Then you have the weighted point score, number three. These are the main ones that we have, as Naz was saying. So starting off now with the APS right so the aps as we have mentioned this is the admission point score it totally aps was 600 ne? so it means that close 600 there are six subjects each subject accounting for 100 points which is percenting 100 so it means that for six subjects right whatever percentage you got will be added up and is a city total is a is a percentages that you've gotten there is let's say 550 it will be 550 points right over 600 points you get me so that is kind of like your overall for the six subjects but the question now is what six subjects so the rule at uct is that these subjects must include english and the five best subjects that you have in your report but now there is a caveat here, right? Because in these five best subjects, what must be included? First of all, there must be included the, the subjects that are required for that degree as minimum requirement. Kind of like how medicine has minimum requirements for maths and minimum requirements for physics and English, of course. Ne? So those subjects must be included in that five best subjects. Ne? We do not include LO. We do not include AP subjects we do not include subjects that have a percentage of less than 40. So those subjects cannot be part of those five subjects that will add with English to make six subjects to give you that total gas 600 APS. Does that make sense? All right, give a fit. We are done now with the APS. Now let's say you got your 550 out of 600. Hold it right there. Ne? Remember, we said that you require three point scores, right? Which was your APS, which was your FPS, which is your faculty point score, and your weighted point score. All these have, been, have to be taken into account in order for us to consider you. So now let us move on to the faculty point score. What is this? So for other faculties, um, they basically say that their faculty point score is equal to their APS, which is their um, admission point score, but not for health sciences because there are things that we need to factor in, like NPT. So now, what is this faculty point score? This faculty point score is your um, admission point score plus your NPT score, which is out of 300. Why is it out of 300? It is because the NPT has three components, of which all of them are equal to 100. 
right which is their point ne ukoni al kukoni ql kukoni maths al is your academic literacy that english fnc ql is that quantitative literacy it's basically testing reasons graph and stuff like that it doesn't jal then there's the maths component right all three are out of 100 if you add them together they give you a total of 300 plus like aps remember that is out of 600 with the six subjects ne so 300 plus 600 is equal to 900 so if a culture points score it's like a progression moving forward ne? okay we build aps now you have to enter into the fps ne? so now you're out of 900 so let's say you wrote your npt most up with menu 550 ne? you wrote your npt of mana 50 for al of money 50 for ql of mana 50 for emails ne? so that's 150 in total so that again we'll go 550 plus 150 which will be equal to what which will be equal to 700 ne? so you get your 700 so now when you're out of 900 you are on 700 yeah you're on 700 the points go yeah all right so now we need to go into the what the wps now which is the weighted point score so now this weighted point score what is important to note is that it is only for south african citizens ne? and also it is to adjust ne? to account for something called the disadvantage factor ne? the disadvantage factor okay, it's a concept that was introduced basically just to add a few points right to people who fall within this criteria but with disadvantage when i was in high school i think i also got the the disadvantage factor because i was from a school termed previously disadvantaged school kind of vibe but okay, anyway yeah so this disadvantage factor it normally ranges from zero to twenty percent right of what of the fps so whatever mark you got for what out of that 900 so for example when you go 700 ne? let's say you are very disadvantaged so they give you the total of 20 percent so now what they will do they will say what is 20 percent of your what of your fps so 20 percent or 20 over 100 multiplied by what by last 700 you are give a 50 minutes if you leave me up but let me see let me see so that will be round about um 20 times 7 which is 2 times 7 which is 140 yeah boy uh, 140 yeah boy so that's 140 so now they'll add 140 to your what ne? to your fps right so 140 plus 700 right which will be equal to 840 yeah boy. so now with the disadvantage factor ne? when now 840 ne? not necessarily out of 900 but ke it total ya kongo 840 in yukenga bani ngola 140 mfume ne because of good disadvantage fact does that make sense all right okay, guys before we continue i want to state that ne? even if you are doing a rewrite or you are redoing the entire uh subjects that you basically want to redo they do consider that and they use it in this calculation however they will use the best results so it means that if you improve they will use the ones that you've improved right so now let us get into the specifics of say health sciences right so health sciences has how many degrees that it offers it has one two three four five now it has five right starting with mpchp ne? then it also does bachelor of science in audiology it does bachelor of science in speech language pathology you can tell by your speech most like bachelor of science in physiotherapy bachelor of science in occupational therapy now what is important to note here is that e bachelor of medicine it only has 240 spots you i cannot imagine but it only has 240 spots available for students e audiology 37 spots e speech language pathology 40 spots in physiotherapy 70 spots occupational therapy 70 spots available to admit students ne? so now in the answer guy is that when you go and apply for medicine ne? it offers a six-year degree ne? unlike if a state that offers five right and in the previous you know years back back then it was still seven years but now it's six years so you do this six years you graduate right but you're not a doctor 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 yet right not registered with the hpcsa so now you go do two years of internship getting paid 
right one year of community service getting paid somewhere rural ne? then you go and register now with the hpcc once you're done with that and you are officially a medical doctor that can be trusted to open your own practice all right Gibafidu, let us come back now to those points ne? that you got where now so what is going on here is that EMBCHP in a minimum requirements is I that include the fact that you must get a, a, a mark in maths that is above 70 percent a mark in physics that is above 70 percent and a mark in English beat home language or first additional that is above 65 percent yeah? then your minimum APS for them to actually consider you even must be above 450 of which when, according to what we calculated you are way above 450 which is good then when they admit i don't want to get into the details of this one they have different bands they have band a band b band c so these determine how likely you are to be accepted for example band a is basically guaranteed acceptance or guaranteed admission then band b is basically probable admission then band c is possible admission english how likely you are for example if they did not have to use the weighted point score for you and you got your faculty point score that is above 810 right out of 900 then you meet the minimum requirements then and your npt was proficient proficient it has its own categories but you get marks above this for all three of your of your thing of your of your components a l q l and maths then them they like definitely you're getting in ne? then if they now use the weighted point score you get into this category called probable admission right where now this way your 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 points your weighted point score is above 807 right out of technically 900 then you meet the minimum requirements then maybe in your NBT you get intermediate and above, ne? Because there's this rating, yeah, but intermediate and above. Then of course, can we have Ben C, which is a bit lower than that, but that is not important. All right, Kibafir. So they use this kind of criteria to decide whether they are taking you or not. So Kibafir, the overall take-home message from this is for you to know how this point score system works, so that when you like, no, I'm just gonna focus on one subject or two subjects, not thinking that it actually contributes. Ne? If you try and pull all your subjects and perform very well in all of them, it actually pulls you towards a probable and a guaranteed admission to do whatever degree you want to do ne? and also to the people who are in disadvantaged areas and they are worried we do have a disadvantage factor that will be personalized to you ne? and to people who do not take npt seriously guys please take that npt seriously prepare for it on time don't just go in there blindly because it counts 300 of the score and also it's a minimum requirement yeah so they won't take you without you passing that thing yeah so those are the key things that you need to understand yeah and there's also limited space right that is another important thing 240 spaces is not a lot looking at how big south africa is and how many schools there are and how many people dream of doing medicine here at uct so 240 is not really that big yeah, and also another take home message is that we do have other health sciences degrees here that you can also apply for even though they also have limited spaces as well but they are proper 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 degrees that you can basically get you a proper career as well all right Gibafidu, thank you so much for watching up until the end of the video at this point i want to let you know that we'll be talking about a lot of things now it's application season guys please get those applications ready everything must be prepared now your funders are waiting your universities are going to be open soon 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 maybe in a month or so this is our color guys so please don't mess out now i'll be posting all those videos just please subscribe you know you must do the things you like you share that video so that thank you so much guys